Good day folks. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up one of my favorite saltwater patterns. It's a fly I call Brent's Baitfish. I've tied this fly for many many years and it's been uh, it's really good. It's uh, stood out and I'm very proud of this. That's probably one of my favorite ones I've ever come up with. What I wanted was a fly that would be nice and that had the illusion of being a big fly. Lots of profile would push some water and be very light and easy to cast and something that would be neutral buoyant. This fly delivered all of that and even was one better. Um, the first time I tried this fly or tied it on Diane's line, Dale and Diane and I were on the boat fishing the snook and well whatever, we're on the outside fishing uh, at, down in Florida and we got to a good corner which should have had, held some, looked like a good snook holding spot. First cast in there with this fly and it, it actually swam. It actually darted back and forth and the biggest snook I ever seen come out and ate it. We couldn't turn, she couldn't turn the snook. We tried to chase him down but ended up, uh, it didn't, didn't turn out so well but it was quite a, quite a beginning and it was a, a, a fly that hasn't disappointed us ever since. I've also tied this fly. Here's one that's beaten up. I've, I've given the guys all the rest of my good flies to go to Belize last year and they, they couldn't go with the COVID but here's just an, uh, a sampling. I can get them in the the different colorations and so forth. You know anywhere from mullet to outside or there's some nice bright colored flies. So it's a fairly easy fly to tie. I just uh, Go over the materials with you and use to tie the fly. I will use on these hooks pretty much without exception. I'll use a owner hook. This is a one aught. Now I've gone anywhere from four aught down to size twos with this fly. And um, then we're going to use some Palmer chenille. This is in medium flower, uh, fluorescent fire orange. That'll give us the nice underbelly uh, effect down there. The body, the main body, the, this lateral line I'm going to use. This is what they call the natural. This is uh, SF fibers, Steve Farrah fibers. And uh, great, great products. If you see this in the store anywhere, SS SF fibers, they call it. Steve Ferris Flash Blend. It's tremendous. And he's done a wonderful job on this, and there's just a countless amount of flies that have done with his material. Over the top, I'm going to just do more of a offshore type fly here, or something on the flats, more of a macro color here. The top, uh, the belly, I'm going to use some white UV, and just for the topping, top wing, I'm going to use a little gray. Give a little accent, and then I'm going to use some polar flash just on top of the, the topping for the whole wing, and uh, for some accents along the lateral line, I'm going to use some polar flash, the opal along that. For years, I used this, uh, this crystal flash, it's a real bait fishy looking crystal flash, that works good too, gives it a nice definition. And then the eyes, a very important part of any uh, saltwater fly is some good eyes. And I got a bunch of these from my friend Bill Baldus down in uh, Florida. He, he had these custom made for him. He got them in all sizes and was selling online. That's how I met him originally. And when I went down there the first time, bought a lot of good materials. And he, he designs a tremendous amount of really good flies for down there too. Uh, 10K Fly Fishing, I believe is his website, 10K fly fishing, yeah. So let's get a um, hook in the vise here. This is just a standard like size pretty much, kind of middle of the road. Okay, so I'm going to go with the main body material. I'm going to go with this natural color. We're going to take just a little bit out of the hank here, make sure we don't lose it, keep it all together there. And I fold it this size, I'm going to fold it in half. 
cut it and then I'm just going to tease it out so it's not straight more of a taper oh how about some thread here's my real strong multi strong flat white thread I'm going back mid shank so this mid this middle body here main color I'm going to tie on that side tie on this side I should get a little bit of a taper, I am. That's good. So we can use the polar flash here now to accent that. Let's use that. I like that material. It's got a real fishy, scaly look to it as well. That other um, crystal flash worked good too. So use what works and use what you have sometimes. So here I'm just gonna I want these on basically show me some lateral qualities here so I'm going to just kind of go on both sides of that and then trim it off at the end that just gives a little silvery appearance looks really good now we're going to come in here just with the medium Palmer chenille and I use kind of a this a fire a fluorescent fire orange you can use a brighter orange too and it works great and I'm just going to palmer quite a bit of this on and that helps give it the body shape holds my next materials out a little bit it's more of a hollow kind of a tie if you will, there's lots of guys doing that it's a great way of doing big flies making big flies with a lot much material and keep them light alright now I'm going to come in with my top wing it's going to be the macro color Pinch off a little there again. Make sure we don't lose that. We got to get that back in the bag. Fold it in half. Cut that. Here again, I'm just going to stagger, taper the ends. Now, when I tie this on the top, I'm going to tie it on at a 45 degree angle, if you will, if you're following me here not right on top, I'm kind of tying it to the side and now I'm going to bring this over another 45 on this side so that kind of envelopes the top that's critical for me to do it that way that's, that's important to get that shape now underneath we're going to get some of our weight and I've already use some of that on my last fly there so it's ready for me to go and there again I'm going to do the same thing bottom I'm just going to go to 45 and then I'm going to pull it over on this side you know what that looked like white it's not it's gray go get my weight here looks pretty close <laughs> white and the gray I always like to have a little white on the bottom no matter which color I'm using white's always good for the belly you got lots of different colors of this too it's really and really the sky's the limit you guys can make all kinds of saltwater flies, pike flies this is one of the best streamer materials out there so I'm going to come here I'm going to tie it on the bottom at a 45 on that side and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to kind of spread it out a little bit with my thumbnail and that'll spread the material out a little bit more so it's 45 on each side there again gives me the half okay and that looks pretty good and there's a couple of stragglers there just knock them out of the way right now now where's that gray there it is so now I just add a little piece over the top and that I tie right on the top just kind of fill that in you can go with two colors on this, I'm, I'm kind of going a little more than usual but I'm giving it quite a baitfish color, I got a little bit of a lump there I could have 
Tied that back a little further, that bottom white. A lot of times I'll put weed guards on. How to tie it back a little bit more. But I fold the materials. Um, might have gotten me a little lump, lumpy on the bottom there, it's not too bad. Um, I wouldn't take that to a fly show and expect a lot, a lot of uh, rave reviews on it, but it, I'm tying flies to fish. I like good solid flies that catch fish, and that's kind of where I leave it. And then the top, if you want to put some little accent on top there, just give it a little extra flash. It, this kind of helps too. And I'm going to use some polar chenille. You can use some wing fiber. That works really nice up there too, that bait fish fiber. So that gives it a really nice finish up there, doesn't it? Okay. So the head will get epoxied. I'll epoxy that head for sure. Now, what I would do with the eyes is I use, and I've used it for years, I've gone through tubes of this stuff, but I find works better than anything is marine goop. And I'll just lay the fly, these flies when I get done and I'll lay them on my bench where I want to place them and then I just take a little bit off the marine goop out of the, the end here on a, on a bodkin and I'll put it in there where I roll it on there where I want and if you get a little sloppy it don't matter, clear, it dries clear, you'll know no uh, no. But uh, I'll just put these eyes on, these are shaped, they've got the, uh, Bill had these done for himself for his shop there, just online store, just custom made. So I, I would I would use that marine goop here to put these on. I just want to show you how I would where I'd set them typically about right there. Okay. So then you comb this back, get a big brush and I got a nice soft brush and I comb them all back. So there's a fly that is so light, it's really nice and easy to throw. It's got a good profile, looks really, really fishy. I just, it's been a, such a, a good fly for us. And what I like about it being the, the weight it is, being unweighted, is a lot of times these predators, these snook in particular, and a lot of fish, are even laid up tarpon. Uh, we've caught tarpon and some laid up fish that were Really tough. I've seen some other guides that never touched any fish. We jumped seven that day on a, on a much larger but larger hook, but not much larger pattern. But this fly does not move. It stays neutral buoyant. So I can get it down there with an intermediate line or whatever, where I want it in that zone. And when I'm pulling it back, it actually wants to swim. I don't know what makes it dart like that, but it does. And it it's really a, a great fly. I just here I'm bragging a lot about it, but I'm, 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 it's a fly that I'd like you, like you to try to tie, and if not, go find some, or I'll tie you some, whatever it can be. I've shipped some of these to other guys, and they've been uh, quite happy with it. So, all the best to you guys. Thanks for uh, watching, and that's Brent's Baitfish. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes, and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.